Hey, welcome back to the Zoom, everybody. Wow. It's great to see all your faces. Uh, John Boyle, you want to get us started? Jen, you're frozen. Yep. Oh, I am? Maybe I just said really still. It was Jen. Oh, Jen, I said John. Just ask the question, Jen. Yep. <laughs> all right. Sorry. <laughs> Pete, when you go back and look at it, you talked a little bit this morning about the offense. What do you need to see out of your offense to kind of get get on track? Uh, a little bit of everything, really. Uh, there's there's some real solid things, but we want to get the running game more active and part of the game. And uh, um, we we have to take in this game. We needed to take what they were giving us more so. You know, they were they really were laying off and giving us some room. And and uh, Gina was was popping the ball around. He was in good shape to, to throw it, and protection wasn't bad. We should have gone that way a little bit more. But uh, it, it, you know, I, I, it's such a broken record. When you don't convert, you don't get enough chances, you know, and then that's that's kind of we needed more more ops. And we got to create them ourselves by, by the by the execution. So we had a chance to throw the ball a little, bit, a little bit more than we did. Corbin? Hey, Pete, what are your early impressions of the linebackers acclimating to the new scheme? How much do you think that's impacting getting stuck on blocks and maybe not flowing to the football as well as you'd like to see them these first few games? Well, you know, that works hand in hand with the guys up front. Um, you know, guys up front work to keep guys off the linebackers so that they can flow and make their plays. And so we, we need to work together better. We were we had some fantastic plays in this game where we you know we really dominated line of scrimmage and then we had other plays when it looked like we, we were you know out of whack and we don't it's unusual for us to lack that consistency. I do think that it's gonna it's gonna take us a little more time than than we want to that we to get really connected really tightly against the really good offenses that are dedicated to run the football like the Niners. Uh, we learned a lot in that game. We had to. We had enough chances, and, and uh, so we'll grow. But there was just some, some slight fits that weren't as good, and it really is the connection of the guys playing up front and the backers flowing properly. Nico? Thank you. Uh, Coach, looking at Geno completing 80% of his passes, I mean, certainly it's impressive when you look at it. Is it encouraging that he was able to complete at that rate, or is it a concern that he was able to do that yet there wasn't an offensive touchdown to speak for yesterday? No, it's it's encouraging that we, we you know, we if there was any question of how long it would take him to get acclimated and all that, that's that's gone. He, he's he's clearly in, in, in command of it and, and poised, and, and we need to not hold back at all. And I, I kind of implied that, you know, we could have thrown the f football more uh, with the opportunities that we had, and with the trust that we have we have in him, we need to do that. And so, uh, you know, when, when it's given to us, we've got to take advantage of it. And we don't have to hold back at all. Mike, Sean? Hey, Pete, to that point, what does not holding back uh, entail going forward? Like, what's that going to look like? I, I, I don't want to go into the real specifics about that, Michael, but that's the, just uh, we need to trust that we, you know, that we, it was one of the concerns was protection. And so we wanted to go and see if we could protect against this pass rush, which we think is as good as we'll face. And so in that regard, we, you know, we didn't want to open it up and expose the tackles any more than we had to. So that all kind of fit together. But they're holding up. They did a nice job in general. Gino's in command of what's going on, and he's real accurate with what you know his decision making and all. So uh, I, I think it's just more freely taking advantage of what's going on rather than being concerned about you know our ability to hold up. Thanks. Bob? Had to happen. Bob, you're muted. Bob's cussing everybody out right now. You can, I can read his lips. I can't believe what he just said to you, Michael. Jeez. May we go to other Nico? Uh, thank you. Yeah, I don't know which Nico. I think you appreciate it. Uh, Pete. Uh, no, wait a minute. Bob's really pissed. Bob, we couldn't hear you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> All good. Uh, Pete, uh, just real quick, uh, how successful do you feel like uh, running the Wildcat uh, was it throughout the game? And uh, what needs to be different to maybe uh, make it uh, more successful for your offense? Really, we took two shots out of it and one of them backfired, you know, so uh, um, there's not enough information there yet to, to be really excited about it. Um, so we'll, we'll continue to ex explore. If, if I may just kind of elaborate on that what were you looking for uh, or you know what, what was go, what was the approach going after that wildcat 
oh, it's just an additional way that you know to utilize offense. You know, you, you make the defense have to declare how they're going to play it quickly and, and you know with a quick substitution and all that. They got to figure it out. Um, see if there's anything there that, that you can take advantage of. And, you know, you, you get a numbers advantage when you go to Wildcat that, that helps you run the football, you know, if, if you're you know, fortunate to get enough, enough look at it. Um, so it's, it's just another dimension, just trying to be, you know, multiple. Thank you. Greg? Pete, have the rookie tackles then passed the test where you can now open the full playbook and downfield passing game because you trust the tackles? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm saying that they're, they're making good progress, you know, Greg. They're, they're, they're doing well for, for this early in, you know, in, the, in the season. Um, we'll grow more. You know, there, there'll be, there's more confidence to be gained. But yet, uh, they did all right. That was a, you know, that's as good a rush as you're going to see. And so um, that's, that's real encouraging. So we can keep moving. Was this more conservative passing game wise the first two games than you had planned it to be, or was that the plan coming into the season? No, really, this game in particular, because the respect we have for San Francisco was was one in, that was the first game was the first game. Okay, we did, we're just making it through that one, uh, but this game was one that we had you know picked out as a, you know a game that might tell us a lot of in, information on what we could expect and so i think we did gain some some you know some confidence in the fact that we can we can keep moving so um it's a it's a process you know we're, these guys are still brand new so we have to make sure that we're respectful of that and do do a good job and not overexpose them but we we feel good about it and we're making progress uh brady from the boat and then tim from his college dorm room Excuse me. Um, Pete, after the Monday night game, Gino talked about how Denver was taking away some of those deep shots with the, the defensive looks they were giving you. Was it less the case of that yesterday and more the case of just your own offensive approach? No, that was – no, both both teams have really laid off us and played, played back, both games. And how, so how do you – how do you combat that then? Well, you have to play catch, you know, underneath them, and, and, and you know, pop the ball around, and make sure that you're taking advantage of the fact of what they're giving you. They've made <clears throat> they made a clear decision, you know, that uh, to to lay off, and so that's we just have to be comfortable going after it that way. And it's it's not a, it's not that's not, not a big hit deal, you know. I mean, it's just pretty obvious that you can do it, and so uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, this is a whole new week. We'll see what you know. Looking at at Atlanta, they you know they mix their stuff a lot. Um, they play a lot of off coverage, and, and so, you know, maybe, maybe it'll be more of the same. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pete, how are, how are um, Shelby Harrison and Damian Lewis today? Yeah, um, Damian's pretty sore. Um, he's got a, he's got a good thigh bruise going here, and we'll have to see how that how it transitions the next few days. Um, Shelby's got I, I called it a hamstring, but it was by the way that they pointed at it, but it's really a glute. And uh, so uh, – um, we'll have to wait and see. We don't know about that yet. Okay. He's no, he's no feel, better today. Okay. How, how did you feel the the rookie cornerbacks Tariq and, and Kobe played with their opportunities yesterday? You know, we're you know it, it's a little bit frustrating f- for us to get break them in when they're so close in coverage. They're so tight and, and aggressive in their coverage that, that they're they're drawing some penalties here. It's not because they're getting beaten. They're chasing guys. You know. Uh, Michael in particular couldn't have been tighter on both of his his coverages, and so you know the officials thought it was there was too much jostling around going on. Um, you know it was um, so um, they're doing fine, really. Uh, we have to clean it up. We can't give the give the game you know to the calls you know in the, instead of them catching the football. So we got to stay off them as much as we can, but stay as close as we can. Both those guys have been effective doing that. Uh, I I don't think uh, you know it, it's it's a big it's a big adjustment for us. We still want to cover them tight as we can. Uh, we just don't want to give the official something to call. Curtis? Yeah, Pete, what have you seen with the uh, run game issues defensively through two games? It seems like both teams have gotten some space on the perimeter against you. And yeah, it's, it, we've been inconsistent. Yeah, we've been inconsistent on, on, on running game. There, we were, it was all or nothing. You know, we, we knocked the heck out of it and, and stuffed it at the line of scrimmage or we gave them some run space. And, and uh, it's about the discipline of the fits and the consistency of that. We, we, at times we were all right, and then, then we had, you know, the, the, the big play that gets, uh, gets into us, you know, yesterday, the 50-something yard play, um, you know, we got the guy in the backfield. We got to get him down. It was Debo Samuel, and he's pretty no- notorious for getting loose and getting out of it. But that was the play that really rocks us with the numbers uh, overall. But, uh, 
um, we, we have to be more consistent in our fits, and I think that's a little bit of the newness. We're still we're still working together to, to get stuff right. When in these games now, and it, it's uh, the, the teams are so good and they, and they're so equipped that if you have a you know if you have a hole there, they're going to take advantage of it. And the Niners were able to f figure that out some, and uh, so we can see that the same place we stopped at other times in the game. So we got to find our consistency, and that's not there yet. And there's no time. We don't have any. We have to get it done now. Yeah, Atlanta runs the football. You know, their their big guy back there. He hammers it too, and and uh, w they have the similar type of running game and offense and all of that. So we've got to get our act together quick. Maz Vida. Yeah. Hey Pete. Go, just going back to the penalties. Obviously, that's something you did not want. Six of them extended drives. Right. We talked about the cornerbacks. Is that what's the balance for them not to press and yet? Because is that experience? Is that technique? How do you message that? It really, it's really comfort in the moment that, that they've got the coverage and they, they don't need to do anything beyond that. You know, uh, the, our calls have all been really judgmental, close calls. You know, one way or the other. Um, so our guys just have to just be a little more finesse oriented, a little bit better. Both our guys are big and strong, and they 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 have uh, they have an effect on the receiver, and you can tell it. You can see that. And um, we just got to lay off just a hair more, you know, at, at the right moments at the end of the play uh, and, and really be poised about that we're in good enough shape to make the play as we are, you know, where we are. So uh, um, it's, it's, a little, it's a little frustrating because they're, they're doing a really good job, but we just have to lay off enough so that there's not a call to be made. Jen? Well, and some of those mistakes and penalties are just the mark of a young team, like you said, that's trying to get more comfortable out there. What was their response? Was it the appropriate response when they went back and they looked at film to kind of figure out what they needed to change and kind of where they were versus where they should be? Yeah, and, and a lot of it is learning the you know, learning how the calls are made. You know, we we work on this stuff and we have officials at practice and all, and and, and you know we're always we're always on it. Um, but they they still have to learn kind of what you can do and what you can't do in the games. There there is a considerable amount of jostling that's allowed. You know, with the hand fighting and stuff and and. Uh, it, 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 there is a point there where the, when the official doesn't see you look back to the football that they're more apt to call a penalty on you even though the jostling is still happening. If that's happening and you're looking back, then you get away with a little bit more activity and all, and, and that's just something we have to learn and, 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 and you know, make those decisions at the right time and at the right moment so that we don't get called. I mean, those are, those are devastating penalties. When, when you have a team stopped and you're getting off the field and, and it's almost like a turnover, you know, so we have to – and we've been on this topic, so we just got to get better at it. John Boyle, are we going back to Bobby? Yeah, Pete. The uh, you mentioned you've talked a little bit about the rookie tackles and corners. You also had Boye playing a good amount in the second half. You got Walker involved. Just when you have six rookies contributing like that, you know, even if there's a few ups and downs right now. How, how big is that for the future when you got that many guys contributing young? No, John, it's 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 important stuff now. Um, these guys will they're 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 going to gain the comfort of being in these moments and these games and these settings, uh, and, and it's going to help them as they make their decisions and the choices that they make under pressure and under the speed of the game and all that. They're just going to continue to get better, uh, and as we press them into play, uh, the sooner. The more that we do that, the sooner they'll be really, you know, they'll be acclimated and also uh, it's a real positive for us. And, and um, there's nothing really, we have nothing but the highest of hopes. These guys are going. They're doing a good job and they're, they're really holding on to their own. And we've, we're all but overdoing it with the tackles. I mean, they're out there and they're living with it, you know. So um, it's, it's, they're learning about, you know, at the firing line. So they're going to, it's going to really help us. But, um, there's some growing pains in that. I mean, I, you know, I'd, I'd never go there. I'm not going to spend any time on that one. That's part of the process, but uh, it's going to be worth it. Shane? Um, you mentioned Ken Walker this morning on Brock and Salk as a guy that you're really excited to kind of see healthy and get more involved. So can you talk a little about what you're kind of hoping to use him or how you're hoping to use him next couple of weeks? What do you think he can bring? Yeah, uh, we, we want to just roll him in there and, and really uh, – Rashad and, and and Ken go at it, and just, you know they they share the plays, and really there's there's nothing that 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 uh, Ken can't do, and so and we're we're fine about him pass protecting and catching the ball out of the backfield, and uh, you saw us we had him split out, and we went to him yesterday, you know, so there's there's a uh, 
that really there's no restrictions on his play at all other than just getting back to sh in shape game shape kind of thing because he hasn't played in a while you know so um we're really encouraged and, and the fact that he made it through the game and felt all right and uh, got hit a couple times and all that that just helps us you know progress uh he, he he'll be calling for a regular workload as we're going forward greg pete the run fits with this three four to do the linebackers need to scrape maybe even more than they have in the past if you want to use the three big beef guys in the interior or what how do you fix laterally the gaps no that that's not that's not the the thought but they got to scrape more um it depends what we're doing with the front if we're spilling the front and stuff like that but but um when you play two high safety looks and more so, and, and you, you, you know, we utilize that more than we have, um, it does call for them to have to work behind the line of scrimmage, and they do have to find the running game and fit, and fit off the, the down guys. Uh, at, when there's another guy involved in the run, then it's more single gap oriented, and so that in that they do have more flow responsibility. So you, you're picking up on something that um, that they are adapting to and they're learning, and, and that's that's where we have to be in complementary complimentary play you know where the guys up front are keeping them clean so that they can have the avenues to get to the football so that that happened a couple times a number of times in the game that we could do better and so that's what we're really working hard to get that done is that where the Adams injury also hurt you because he was going to be one of those guys you're talking about he would he would have been fitting in more yeah we would have utilized him more so hey Bob how about writing a, a note you know and then holding it up to the screen and then we could we could read it for you <laughs> he said it got. He did say in a text a chat. He got asked. The question got asked. Oh, okay. Well, that's an easy out. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he appreciates you thinking of it. Okay. Anybody have anything else? All right. Thank you.